But the direction of the commander in chief is that we do not engage mercenaries when we have um, our own people to deal with this problem. This is basically a, pres a presidential directive and there are so many issues. When you come to the issue of mercenaries, it has to do with the issue of national pride also. I know you will say, can pride be more of a concern than our security? I do understand that. But what we're looking at here is that we have the resources. It's just misapplication or underutilization that has affected our ability to deal with these people. And um, the president has given a new uh, lease of life to the armed forces. And I believe that we should be able to overcome these people without uh, resorting to help from mercenaries. The weight of our security organizations does that obviate the need for us to use uh, the soft approach, dialogue, and other things? We are ready to dialogue with these people, but for us it is not a priority. We can't be singing the same song every day, and these people are unreliable, they are ignoble, they are ready to undermine whatever agreement we've had. So, so because of that, if the opportunity avails itself, of course, we will talk with responsible people from the side of those people. And I don't even know how to categorize them because it's not as if they're looking for something that you can point a finger at. It's not some kind of nationalistic situation, you know, something based on something that you can actually uh, identify and, you know, relate to. These are just a murderous group of, you know, individuals, you know, who are keyed up on drugs. And I don't know what anybody wants to negotiate with these people. And the people who have been negotiating with them in, in the first place, don't you think they should actually, if there's that sincerity of purpose, talk with the right people in government? So for negotiation, it is there. We'll see what happens when it happens. To deal with an enemy that is unseen, that is unknown. An enemy that has already uh, inserted himself in the main fabric of society. You need technology to deal with him. This is not some conventional war in which you're fighting a known enemy. It's not even guerrilla warfare, whereby the guerrilla restricts himself to the countryside to deal with a blow on government agents. This is someone who is amongst us and whose the primary target is a soft target. So what we need is technology, the latest technology to sniff out one individual. You sniff out that one individual, he leads you to 50, 200, 1,000 others. So technology is important and that's why we're working seriously on this uh, cyber security uh, thing that was launched last week.